Hey guys, welcome back to Haywire Homestead. If you're new here, welcome to our small farm in Southern Ohio. Um, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and smash subscribe. Um, today we are heading over to my folks farm, which is about an hour away from me, and I am helping them harvest some honey. So my dad has, I think, six hives. He's been doing bees for a couple of years, so he's still learning. And he has two different types of hives. Your traditional hive, which I cannot remember the name of right now. And the other one is a horizontal hive. Um, there, he learned about those and wanted to try them out. Well, the pro, he's having some issues with the horizontal hives. Um, last winter and this winter, his horizontal hives, he lost the hives. The bees just died. He's not sure what's going on, why he's having an issue with that. He is going to contact um, the gentleman, Dr. Leo, and I cannot remember his last name because he is Russian. Um, but he has a book out and he's a wonderful resource. So he's going to be contacting him to see if there's something he's doing wrong. <laughs> um, and, you know, as to why the horizontal hives are not thriving as they should be. They were really strong hives in the fall. He did everything he was supposed to do to, to get them, you know, ready for winter. And, uh, but anyway, so he pulled the frames out of the hives and we are going to put them in the, um, spinner and spin the honey out. And I'm going to show you guys how we do, how they do that. Cause I'm here to learn too. So these are all the ones that we have to do. It's got just a little bit. No, that one doesn't have a lot, does it? No. That one's got more. The further you go in, the more there is. Yeah. Well, they start in the middle and build out, right? Yeah, usually. We're using the hive butler. You can use the hive butler to store frames in. You can even do it if you use it to catch a swarm, can't you? Yeah. So he's using this de it's a capping tool. So what it does is it pulls off the top layer of beeswax that the bees cap the tool or cap the honey with. And then after he's, there's none capped on that side. And then you'll put it in the spinner. And this spinner holds three frames at a time. Three, six, or nine. Three, six, or nine, I guess, depending on the size of them. And then you spin them out. Probably takes it several minutes before the honey will come down down through there, and then there's a strainer to make sure that you don't get any wax or anything inside. That. In the center of the box, and you can see that it's completely full. You wouldn't believe how heavy these frames are too when they're full of honey like this. Mmm, yummy. Is it good? Taste it. That's good. Yummy. There comes the honey. Now, when you are doing the honey, you have want to get the un the or sorry the capped honey. You don't want uncapped honey. Uncapped honey has too much moisture in it, too much water content, um, which would cause it to spoil. Correct? Yeah, it'll uh, ferment. It'll ferment. Okay. So then, I guess you'd be making some mead. I don't know some honey mead. Uh, so you want it to be capped. Once it's capped, then it, it should be at the proper um, moisture uh, or water content level for it to uh, be able to be stored safely. Boy, that's pretty, honey. Look at that. Mm-hmm. It's just rolling out of there. Away one. 12 pounds and 3 ounces. Or seven pounds, 12 ounces. Seven pounds, 12 ounces for that yeah. one full frame. Yeah. That's a lot I'll of give weight. give you an idea that pretty much almost all of these frames in this particular box are full. So if all of them weighed roughly seven pounds a piece, you've got how many frames? Ten. Ten, Ten frames. So if they're seven pounds, of, I mean, that's, that's, that's 70, 70 pounds, pounds the box. in this box. You'd be carrying a 70-pound box. So honey is heavy. I know mom struggled getting them up here. 
Yeah. Um, because they were just so heavy. What we're going to do with the uh, frames we've spun is um, we'll take them down. We've actually got a really nice warm day coming up here. Um, take the whole thing down and set it up and allow the bees to go into it. And you ever heard the term robber bees? Robber bees is when bees from another hive come into, typically it's a weaker hive, and they'll steal the honey and resources from it. So um, what we'll do is let the bees rob these frames, and they'll literally clean them all up. I don't know. Um, so then the bees can clean this up. The bees can use the honey and everything, and they'll clean it all off, and then we can bring them back up here and store them for next season. Okay, thanks so much for coming along with me to check out Harvesting Honey. We wound up with almost 40 quarts of honey. I'm not sure on the weight. Honey is typically done by weight, not by quarts, but we didn't weigh all of them. So uh, this is my jar that I got to bring home. And we also brought home a little bit of honeycomb for Gabe. Yay! Have an idea. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Thanks so much for watching. You guys take care.